Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing this look that I am wearing for you. And it is using the Pat McGrath Divine Rose Palette. Now this palette restocks March 6th, which hopefully, if I got this video up on the right time, is today. It is a gorgeous, soft, romantic, rosy, mauve type of palette. These are the exact tones that I love for every day. I already have a full review on this palette, as well as a, another tutorial in that review with this palette. So I wanted to do a different look for you using this palette. Since it is being restocked today, I wanted to give you another look for some inspiration and it's more of a soft glam kind of look and I'm really obsessed with it. So if you want to learn how I got this look and also if you want to learn how you can win one of these palettes in my giveaway, make sure you stay tuned towards the end of the video. But anyways, let's get straight into the tutorial. So the first color that I'm going to be digging to is this one for my transition shade. I am using a Refer 16 brush. And what I love about this color is it really builds up so you can get a really soft shade with this color or if you put a lot of that color on, you can get a deeper shade. But as you can see, it's the most gorgeous, perfect cool tone mauve rose type of shade. This is one of the few matte shades in this palette and I just use it for every single look every time I use this palette. Next, I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm using my Olimar Cosmetics Crease Brush and I wanted my crease to be a little bit more rosy, so that's why I'm taking this. And this shade is a shimmer shade, but if you softly put it over, that matte shade, it's not too shimmery. Like it still works in the crease, as you can see. I think if you have more mature eyelids, it's harder to get away with using a shimmer shade like this in the crease, but it really is not too bad. It still is a pretty soft shimmer shade. Next, we're digging into this shimmery chocolate shade. I'm gonna use this to add a chocolate element right out here. In the outer half of my eyelid. I know it is a shimmery color, but again, don't be afraid to use shimmers in the areas that you would typically use matte. I do agree on most occasions, a matte is going to be the most flattering here, but it's a nice way to change up the regular routine. Next, I'm using my P. Louise base and my Refer number 21 brush, and I'm going to cut my crease. The next shade I'm going into is this shade. I really love that matte rose we used with this on the lid. Like that would be such a beautiful bridal look. I mean, this shade itself right here is the perfect bridal shade. Oh my goodness. So now I want to work on this blend from the brown to this white satin shade. So I'm gonna mix this shade right here and I'm also gonna put a pop of the chocolate brown on just to add some depth. So just like that to make everything a little bit more seamless. So just adding a touch of that matte in and then the shimmer right on top to keep that shimmer effect. With a wet, flat shader brush, I'm going into this glitter shade right here. As you guys know, this is the best formula and most original formula that Pat McGrath has to offer and I'm putting this right on top. So I'm going to clean underneath the eyelids and then it's time to zoom out to the face makeup. To begin with priming my face, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Lab Sublime Perfection Foundation Primer, of course. This is a really nice primer and I really do find it helps my makeup last longer and also adds a little bit of moisture to the skin as well. And then, of course, using my Pat McGrath Foundation. It's a really lightweight natural foundation. You can still see your skin underneath, but it just really smooths and perfects everything and makes everything look more even. Next, I'm going in with my current new and favorite concealer, the one Pat McGrath just released. And it's just such a nice, even coverage. It's quite full, actually, and it blends out beautifully. And then I am going to use the powder that goes along with this concealer as well over top to set my under eyes. Thank you. 
To set the rest of my face, I'm using my Pat McGrath Loose Setting Powder. And for some definition and warmth, I'm going in with the classic Benefit Hula with my giant refer brush to bronze everything up. This e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in this rose shade, it just looks so luxurious and it's only a few dollars, I can't believe it. Such a beautiful universal color that so many of you guys are going to absolutely love. And for highlight, I'm taking this pink duochrome shade here from the Pat McGrath Highlighter Palette. I guess it's more iridescent than duochrome, but I really love it and it's so pretty with this look. And now we're going to begin back into the palette and I'm just taking the matte shades that I used in the original part of this video underneath my eyes. Moving on to the lips, now that I have liner and lashes on, I'm starting off with a lip liner in the shade Done on Done. It's basically like my lip color, but it adds that color back to my lips. And then for lipstick, I'm taking this Pat McGrath lipstick in the shade Soft Core. It's a vibrant pink with a little, little bit of rosiness to it, but it's still quite wearable. I love it. And then of course to finish that off, I had to use my Divine Rose Lip Gloss. All right, and here is the final look with everything complete. What I love about this palette is how soft the looks you get from it are. Even though I did quite a typically a dramatic technique, I just still feel like this look is very soft and wearable. It is more glam because you have glitter and a cut crease, but for the most part, it still is that rosy, soft, romantic look that you can get from this palette. Every single look that I get, I find is not extremely dramatic. I'm sure you can make this dramatic, but for the most part from the looks that I create it always turns out really soft and romantic So if you love these soft romantic kind of eye looks, this is the perfect palette to go to And now it's time for the most exciting part of this video So if I got my life together and have this right today is March 6th It was the day of the restock of this eyeshadow palette Now this palette did sell out the first two times it was released and the second time it was released I actually picked up a very fresh one to give away to one of you guys i am so extremely thankful for the support that you guys give me it's because of you guys i'm able to afford all of these products to put into my videos and to just have somebody to talk to with about makeup and so many of you guys love pat mcgrath and talk about how you are not able to afford a palette so i really wanted to give back and pick one up for you guys especially so this video is a giveaway just a thank you for the continued support on my channel so here are the rules so that you can win this giveaway so of course you have to be subscribed to my channel you have to like this video and you have to be following me on instagram which is morgan turner makeup and then you must come back to this video and comment down below your three favorite beauty youtubers i definitely am always looking for some new creators and accounts to watch and support and if you are viewing this video i want you to go down in the comments and also check out some awesome creators that my community here loves to watch and also in the comment you must put your Instagram name because that is how I will contact the winner if you aren't following me on Instagram then I can't DM you so that is why you have to be following me on Instagram and comment it in the comments down below so that I can message you and let you know you are the winner this giveaway is going to close exactly one week from the date that this video is posted so all of those details for the giveaway will be in the description box down below just to keep everything clear just in case i forgot any information but the main ones subscribe like 
follow me on Instagram, comment your top three favorite beauty YouTubers, and of course your Instagram name. So again, thank you guys so much for the support on my channel. I really appreciate it and I'm so happy that I can give this stunning soft romantic palette away to one of you. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you recreate this look, I would love for you to post it on Instagram or post it on a story and tag me in it. I love seeing you guys recreate my looks. It makes me feel like the time that I put into creating and editing this video was completely worth it. That is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you take a little bit of time just to do so. I would greatly appreciate it. And that's all I have. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.